Welcome back to Woodcrafter's Corner, where we talk about all things woodcrafting, but not a ton about corners. In today's video, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head battle between two of quite possibly the most popular carving knives, at least, that I've come across. The Beavercraft, which is perfect for beginners, which I've already reviewed, by the way, and the Flex Cut, which is kind of the gold standard, if you will, for intermediate and beginners alike. Also did a review on that one, by the way. So here they are. As you can see, they're very similar. This is, of course, just one example of the three knives that come in each kit. But today we're going to be diving into a little bit more detail about what comes with each, what the pros and cons are, and ultimately how one stacks up against the other. The results probably won't surprise you, but you might as well stick around anyway. And of course, if you prefer a written review, be sure to check out my website at woodcrafterscorner.com. But for now, let's get right into it. So here it is, the ultimate showdown. On this side, we have Beavercraft the budget-friendly whittling set. And then on this side we have Flex Cut, which as far as I'm concerned is one of the more premium brands you can get, especially as a beginner. And honestly, one of the more popular ones, even amongst longtime whittling and wood carving veterans. So over here, again, budget-friendly. Over here, just a little bit more, but we're gonna see how they stack up today. Is it really worth going with a flex cut with the extra cost involved? Or would it be better to stick with the Beavercraft, especially if you're just starting out? Let's find out. So let's begin with the detail blade and we're just gonna do a visual comparison here. So as you can see, I'll just turn it like this. So as you can see, these are very similar. You'll notice that the Beavercraft on top, is, its handle is just a little bit bigger. Uh, but if we turn it like this, I personally, Definitely prefer the way Flex Cut does her handle. It's just a little bit wider here where your fingers are uh, going to rest while you're holding it. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the Beavercraft has just the slightest ridge. There you go, you can kind of see it there. Which the Flex Cut is pretty well perfectly rounded. That does make it just ever so slightly more comfortable to hold like this, especially for long periods of time, than the Beavercraft. While we're on the handle, we might as well talk about this. The Flex Cut and the Beavercraft both use an ash handle, uh, where the difference comes into play is that Flex Cut uses some kind of laminate over the top. You can kind of see the difference in how shiny it is. And you can definitely feel a difference too. Like this one has that wood grain texture, and this one is almost perfectly smooth. So take that as you will. Some people prefer the smoother texture, some people prefer the rougher one. I do actually like having something a little more grippy, I guess you could say, which is what the Beavercraft does. But I do prefer the shape overall of the flex cut. So for longer term whittling sessions, this is ultimately more comfortable. So keep that in mind. Now in terms of the blade itself, you can see that they're very similar in shape and size. They're a little bit different though uh, in terms of size. So the detail blade on the Beavercraft here is 1.38 inches. And the detail blade here on the flex cut is one and a half inches. So just a slight difference there, but nothing major. So that kind of wraps it up there. We'll set that aside. Now let's move on to the roughing blade, which both have as well. So again, Beavercraft on top. And as you can see, it's just a little bit bigger. So the Beavercraft uses a 1.97 inch long blade, where the roughing blade on the flex cut is one and three quarters inches. So just a small difference. Now what you might notice here, and I don't know if you can see it again on camera, maybe I should turn it this way. The flex cut is a thinner blade. Uh, so that's actually, it's good because this makes it a lot easier to glide through wood, especially in a roughing blade when you're pushing through larger chunks. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it is, it is noticeable. So this one is a little bit thicker, which I think is partly a compromise on Beavercraft's part because the blade is just a little less uh, overall durable. So we might as well talk about the steel while we're at it. Uh, so both knives use a high carbon steel. Flexcut uses 1095 spring steel, which is quite a bit more durable and overall more robust. They also have this black coating over the top, near the top half I should say, which helps prevent against corrosion and rust. Now I will say since both types of steel are high carbon, Rust is a problem no matter what, but hopefully your whittling blades will not be in contact with a ton of water, so take that as you will. Uh, the Beavercraft, on the other hand, uses uh, 65G, according to Beavercraft, which is, again, also a high carbon steel. It's not necessarily as durable as the 1095 spring steel that Flexcut uses, so what that means is that you'll find yourself having to sharpen the Beavercraft knives just a little bit more often than you will the Flexcut. 
especially to keep them as razor sharp as whittlers and woodcarvers usually prefer, myself included. So I find myself having to hone this with a, a strop uh, usually about every 20 minutes or so, whereas this one it's usually about every 45 minutes or so. So, I mean, it's not a huge difference, but that just comes down to the difference in the quality of the steel. Rockwell hardness for these, so interestingly enough, this is between 56 and 59 on the Rockwell hardness scale. Now that is according to Beavercraft themselves, whereas this one is between 55 and 58. And again, that is according to flex cut directly. So that is an interesting difference. I have noticed needing to sharpen these a little bit more often, but on the Rockwell hardness scale, this one is actually better. Now they do give a range of hardness, so it is possible that these are consistent, more consistently on the high end of that scale, whereas these are more consistently on the low end. It's hard to say. Uh, maybe different batches are different, but what I can say is that I have noticed a difference in how often that I have to sharpen or hone these. So do with that information as you will. Next up, we have the cutting blade versus the chip blade. So FlexCut calls this a cutting blade, and Beavercraft is clear that this is a chip blade. Now, obviously, chip carving is a different style than whittling. Uh, I don't actually do a ton of that myself at all, actually, so I can't really speak to how well this works for that purpose. But given the quality overall of the other blades, and I have used this just as a regular whittling knife, sometimes you want to get in there, sometimes around uh, facial features, and you don't want that pointed tip that the other two have. And so the fact that this one's a little bit shorter can make it a little bit easier in some cases, so I've used it for that, and it works great. Nothing bad to say about it there. The flex cut is obviously quite a bit longer, so this is a one inch blade here from Beavercraft, and this one is one and a quarter, so uh, one and a quarter inches, so it's a little bit more in terms of length. Now you may notice that uh, on all of the knives, there's this hole around where the blade is inserted into the handle on the Beavercraft, whereas there's one here, of course, but it's been filled in. So there is a little bit extra durability included in that. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So I'm not 100% sure if you can compare these directly. I would say it's very similar uh, in terms of length. And I assume that the blunted end here could be used similarly for a chip carving knife on the flex cut. So I've used both uh, for different applications, but not for chip carving. So somebody who has, maybe let me know in the comments and let me know how the how these stack up for that specifically. But for everyday carving and also just how it glides through the wood, they both work really well. And again, you'll notice that the Beavercraft is thicker than the Flex Cut. So again, just do with that what you will. But the thinner blade for me is a lot easier to use. So there you have it, every blade lined up together and kind of compared one with the other. We've seen some of the differences, so let's move right into talking about the conclusion and which one I'd recommend and why. All right, so what's the final verdict? Beavercraft versus Flex Cut. Of course, you're probably not surprised to learn that the Flex Cut, while costing a little bit more, is a more premium tool, whereas the Beavercraft, while costing a little bit less, gives you a little more bang for your buck if you're a beginner. Of course, the fact that the Beavercraft comes with several accessories that you probably will need anyway right in the box means that it's perfect for somebody who's just starting out wanting to test the waters of this hobby and see if it's for them, whereas the Flex Cut may include a little bit less in the box, but the knives themselves are a much higher quality. They're going to last longer, they hold their edge a little better, and overall they're just going to be a more intermediate tool that will grow with your skills as you progress as a whittler and a woodcarver. So it really just depends on where you are in your whittling journey. The Beavercraft will be perfect for you if you're just starting out, and they'll last you a good long time, and they'll adapt to your skill level for a, quite a while. But if you're looking for something more premium that's going to be able to keep up with you in the more detailed, the more uh, intricate projects, if you will, the Flex Cut is probably the better option, and overall, it's just a better feel. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more on the Flex Cut, in my opinion, it's well worth it. But starting out with the Beavercraft is not a bad way to go. So the ultimate winner between the two probably isn't surprising to anybody. The Flex Cut is better built, higher quality, and just overall a better knife. Whereas the Beavercraft is a good beginner's tool, and it'll probably get you through a while. But still, overall, the Flex Cut is the ultimate winner. Now, of course, I've done detailed reviews of both the Flex Cut and the Beavercraft, which you can find on this channel. And if you, again, prefer the written version, be sure to check out woodcrafterscorner.com, which, as you might have guessed, is a website. I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.